Hello everyone, this is Miss Sangte here. I hope you're all doing well and I hope you're taking care, good care of your health. Um, I really hope that you're taking all these assignments seriously and um, please make sure to submit your homeworks on time. And as for my subject, as I've mentioned uh, in the app before, you only have to submit the, the assignment which I've given you for heights and distances. If you have any questions regarding that, you can you can always ask me, okay? Now, um, in the last assignment, I gave you um, this chapter installments, which is the first chapter of your textbook. And some of you have told me that you've, you have some difficulties understanding it. So today, I would like to just brief you, um, give you a brief idea of the chapter. And um, before I start, I just want to say... I understand that there are some of you here who don't understand Mizo well and there are some of you here who have um, difficulties in understanding English as well. So what I would be doing is how I usually teach in class, I will be switching from English to Mizo, I will be mixing them uh, if and when I think it's necessary. Uh, however, if uh, some of you have, if uh, if any of you have any questions or any um, suggestions or any problems with that, please let me know. You can ask me directly. Okay. Mm. When I hear installments in Bulkan Chananga, English shit yam low in low um po in la shit yam tia low in low um and he put in in on soil in my young army zone and the hank and pulled on a my road zoo. Mizo chung vekati he could do love at hand to the kina exam huna kanzian the kanziale don't can English poka kanzian like china vang in English a hetia and so it he my and needs a pillar the hand can zero to hold on to one so on English let me zone in the can a that casoy pulled on any. Alright, so please uh, everyone turn to page number one of your textbook and over here, see for, before we start in installments, I hope some of most of you have like at least a, a few idea like what installment means. I don't think this is your first time hearing it. However, I know you might not have studied it in depth. So that is what we're going to do today. Okay, now um, when we talk about installments, obviously you know it's about buying something when you're when when you're about to purchase something when you're about to buy something. Um, if uh, you don't have the entire amount of money which you which you need in order to buy that product or that good that article, you can pay it in installments. Okay, so um, over here, like let me just give you an example before we start. So suppose you want to buy a washing machine from a shop. You go to the shop and you ask, you find a washing machine which you like. However, the washing machine costs you, let's say, 10,000 rupees, 10k. Okay? Washing machine, you can buy a washing machine. 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 So you don't have the entire 10,000 rupees to pay for the washing machine, okay? So what do you do? The the shopkeepers, they tell you, okay, um, if you want to buy it, you can pay it in installments. That is what they will tell you in some shops, okay? So um, uh, uh, they tell you, okay, so you can do one thing. You can pay only 2,000 rupees for now. You can take the washing machine and you can pay the remaining amount of money in installments Maybe for two years or for three years or however, whatever the deal is with the, the shopkeepers. They will have their own um, um, conditions, okay? So that is what they will tell you. All right. Tuna kan soita kan kan. I washing machine ka ilaw leidu at zeng sing kat mana nita. Amay ro tzu po isa ka tira sing kat ka ilaw neide da ilaw ta ni tzu. Tzu vang tzu anin ador ni tu te kan. Sang ni hi pe put la tzu an washing machine hi iho na nga amay ro tzu. Hmm. A bag zong ka installment in installment amzia tu a e kum ni tsung emu kum tum tsung emu ka katsu ador ni tu te zir lo ni ta se e a bang zong hiti kan e e tem te te in iron pe iron pe zo don ne iron pe tlak don ne anti ta ka ka installment zo ni ta ni tu. Alright, now over here we have three terms which are very important. The first one, as you can see, is cash price. Okay, so let's all read together what cash price means. The sum which a customer has to pay in full for the article at the time of purchase is called the cash price. Okay, what does it mean? The initial amount, the initial price of the money 
which you have to pay in the beginning okay which is cash price like for example uh you go to the shop and you like i said let's use the same example which, which we've used before for the washing machine it costs ten thousand rupees and if you have the ten thousand rupees with you at that time then you can say okay i don't need to pay it in installments i can just take i can just take the washing machine i will give you the entire amount the ten thousand rupees right now and the deal is done okay so um, cash price is the amount of money which you have to pay in the beginning the entire amount of money which you have to pay in the beginning when you are not paying it in installment do you understand please don't mix that up okay cash price om zyatsu ati ra cheng sing khat khalo nei dei ngal ta la lo in ring sa ta la mo installment na ngai lawe tihan ka petla khal the itia i pek zat kha kha cash price chu ni ta ni chu okay so on cash price chu i khami washing machine man ati ra an chiar rang reng reng ka cash price alo ni ta ni chu all right now the next one is cash down payment now cash down payment comes in handy when you don't have the entire cash price Okay, when you don't have the entire amount of money to pay in the beginning, all right? So, suppose, uh, let's just go back again. Suppose if you have 10,000 rupees for the washing machine, then you can just pay the money. You can take the washing machine home. It's all yours. You don't have to go back to the shop. Everything is done, okay? However, if, supposing you, if, if don't, you, you don't have the 10,000 rupees in the beginning, so the shopkeepers will tell you, okay, you can take it in installment, but first you have to give at least a few amount of money so that we know that you will pay the remaining amount of money do you understand so the sum to be paid in cash under an installment plan at the time of purchase of an article is called the cash down payment so what is cash down payment it is the amount of money which you keep in advance you you say let's say for this case let's say two thousand rupees okay so you pay two thousand you take the washing machine home but it's not done yet you have to keep paying the remaining amount of money in installments okay i hope that part is clear for you cash down payment kantitsu atirakhan cash price kamitseng sing kat kalo nai de dai lo tala donate to the khan ole cheng sang ni min pe photanga washing machine hi chu i ho nanga amai ro chu abang zonga kha installment in claim te ten i run la pe tur ni an ti a khami chuma atira i da kham za ta kha atira advance a tun la chong kham za advance kan ti me ya i pek sa kha i pe i le nge nge don ni ti en ti na na poisa claim zong i da kham kha khami kha cash down payment chu lo ni ta ni chu okay now the next the last term is installments now we've already said um the amount of money which the, the price or the money which you have to pay in the beginning is cash price but however if you don't have the cash price ready with you then you can buy it in installments however you have to keep some a certain amount of money in advance so that they know that you are definitely going to go back and pay the remaining amount of money right so the remaining amount of money which you have to pay after you already pay the cash down payment okay the remaining amount of money which you have to pay will be divided into equal amounts for let's say for maybe for two years okay or for three years depending upon the conditions of the shopkeepers okay so that amount is installments so let's just read what what has been written written over here the sum which is paid by the customer at regular intervals towards the remaining balance of the selling price of the article all right so that means what um first you pay the cash down payment the, the the amount of money in advance let's say 2000 okay so first you pay 2000 rupees and the remaining amount which you have to pay you will pay them in equal installments okay they are called e uh, in equal uh, amount they are called installments all right um zia chan nge atira poisa lo nei dai lo tala cash price khalo pengal thei lo tala installment in kal me yang nge iti chuan cash down payment in tun example kan nan khan cheng sang ni ida kham photanga khami abang zong kha install installment in ipv thung do na ni chu okay so a installment zat kha chu ador ne tu te emo khami a company ne tu te azir khan kum ni te mo kum thum chung te mo ania achang chuan kum khat thatin pek te nga ya achang chuan kum khat kum khati pe a installment pa khati pe a kum khata a kum le a installment dang zong kha ipe le a khatyang zel khan a dang lam china he in textbook a big hit one usually um we have around 15 questions and i don't think uh, they go more than for uh, 
all the questions I think there for like at least two or three maximum three installments okay so it, it's not going to be difficult so for today I just uh, want you all to have this brief idea uh, I want you all to know what uh, installment actually means however from the next class we will be starting with the examples and um, the the exercise questions so i guess that's it if you have if you still have any questions regarding um the theory part the theory part of uh, this chapter you can um tell me and feel free to ask questions okay please stay safe stay at home um make good use of your time don't leisure around don't do unnecessary unnecessary stuffs and please take care god bless you